Yellowstone. It may be famous for its reliable, old faithful geyser, but never forget that Yellowstone National Park sits atop an active, dynamic, rumbling supervolcano. Change is always happening, sometimes spectacularly, sometimes not. But change is always exciting. Case in point, the discovery of a newly opened volcanic vent caught in the act of spewing a billowing cloud of steam into the air. A scientist spotted the telltale plume in August 2024, and work was done to find out what it was and to confirm whether it was indeed a new hydrothermal feature. Closer inspection revealed a temperature of 77 degrees Celsius and a very thin layer of grey silica clay, indicating that the vent itself had recently opened. While the vent itself is new, it is not necessarily an indicator of new hydrothermal activity. It was discovered in an area called Roadside Springs, which is home to a large hydrothermal area, underground water heated by the supervolcano that sits beneath Yellowstone itself. The vent may be linked to similar activity that occurred more than two decades ago. A similar type of hydrothermal activity was first observed on the other side of the same rhyolite lava flow where the new feature is located. Just west of Nymph Lake, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory writes, This hydrothermal activity continues today, but is much less intense than when it first formed. The two areas are likely connected by an underground reservoir. They are linked by a fault line that runs from the Norris Geyser Basin to Mammoth Hot Springs. The new vent may be behaving in a similar way. At first, it belched a thick plume of steam into the air that persisted through the fall, but gradually tapered off in the winter. It's still active, just not releasing as much steam at all. How it changes and what it can tell us about the region beneath it will involve more monitoring work. There's so much going on beneath Yellowstone. It's not just a fascinating place for volcanism, but for science. For example, the microbes that live around its toxic hot springs can teach us about the extreme adaptations life will make to survive and even how life on Earth may have begun. It also occasionally vibrates with seismic activity and likes to let out the occasional random explosion just to keep us on our toes. Scientists believe that a giant reservoir of magma beneath the area is also moving. Yellowstone is truly a natural wonder worth witnessing in person. Just be sure to watch your step. I suppose some might accuse me of exaggerating, but volcanoes, I believe, start small. A new steam vent has opened up in Yellowstone National Park. It's more like a pond. Scientists don't seem too worried. That is, no one expects it to grow astronomically high and become a supervolcano in a matter of months. However, we all know that one day, the caldera beneath the park will erupt once again. I've read that geologists claim that the great volcano erupts about once every 700,000 years, give or take a few minutes.
doomsday prophesians like to tell us that we're about to have a major eruption and that when it happens, there won't be any tourists to bother the bison and bears for a very long time afterward because there won't be many people left in North America. Yellowstone is one of the closest national parks and I've never been there. I've been to Grand Teton, Great Basin and Glacier, but never the most amazing places. I think I better schedule a visit soon before it blows up and I never get the chance again.